Good morning, everyone. This is our fourth competency in the fourth quarter. So we will be discussing today, or we are going to apply the knowledge that we have acquired in trigonometric ratios by solving different word problems that involves right triangle. So let us begin with our first problem. So problem number one we have here. The vertex angle of an isosceles triangle is 65 degrees. Each leg measures 320 millimeters. Find the length of the base. So the problem has something to do with an isosceles triangle having a vertex angle of 65 degrees. Each leg measures 320 millimeters. And, uh, then you are going to find the length of the base. First thing that we have to do is we have to illustrate our problem, our triangle for this matter. So if we have an isosceles triangle, so let us try to draw an isosceles triangle here. So let's have an isosceles triangle. Okay, so this is our isosceles triangle. Let's have some markings here. This denotes that the triangle is an isosceles triangle because the two sides here are congruent. So base in here, the vertex angle of the isosceles triangle is 65 degrees. And we are referring, of course, to this angle. The vertex angle is this angle. And sabe, that is 65 degrees. So let us write 65 degrees here. So this one is 65 degrees. Another given is that each leg measures 320 millimeters. So the leg here is 320 millimeters and also this one is 320 millimeters. Ang tinatanong is find the length of the base. This is our base. Actually, ito yung ating base. Ano? So, ito yung hahanapin natin. So, let us denote the unknown by the variable x. So, let us have this as x. So, this is the unknown, the base, and let's have it x. So, how are we going to apply the trigonometric ratio in answering this problem? For us to use the trigonometric ratio, of course, we should have a right triangle. Ano? And obviously, this is not a right triangle. It is an isosceles triangle. So let us draw an altitude for us to have a right triangle. So if we are going to draw an altitude, okay, let us try to draw an altitude here. Okay, this is perpendicular. So this is our altitude perpendicular land. And since it is perpendicular, may 90 degrees tayo. And since may 90 degrees tayo, ibig sabihin, we already have a right, we already have a right triangle. So we can now apply the trigonometric ratio. Now, ang nawawala is length. Looking at here, we cannot get the base, the length of the base at once. Ano, ano ang una nating makukuha? If we are going to consider the triangle on the right, nagkaroon ng dalawang triangle, but let us consider the triangle on the right. Etong triangle na to, ano? Let us consider that right triangle. Okay. For us to get the base, kailangan nating kunin ito muna. So let us denote this side as side Y. So let us have side Y. F let's have this side as side Y. Okay. An altitude of the isosceles trapezoid is also a median. So ibig sabihin, this two here are also congruent. So kung ito ay Y, we can say that also this is Y. And for us to get X, kasi X ang hinahanap natin, the length of the base, looking at here, of course, the equation for us to get X will be equal to 2Y. X will be equal to 2Y. So based from the equation that X is equal to 2Y, Bibig sabihin, we need to find the value of y first. Now, for us to get the value of y, we need to have an, a reference angle, an acute angle for our triangle. Now, let us consider our triangle on the right. We have a triangle on the right. I am referring to this triangle, ano, right triangle here. Now, let us have a reference angle for us to be able to use the trigonometric ratios. In this case, let us use the base angle. Let us use the base angle para sa ating reference angle. Now, what will be our base angle? What is the measure of our reference angle, our base angle? 
Yes, the measure of our reference angle is actually 57.5 degrees. This one is 57.5 degrees. Bakit? Because in an isosceles triangle, the, bear, the vertex angle is 65. So you are just going to subtract it from 180. And then the result, you are going to divide it by 2. Because the base angles are congruent. So ibig sabihin, each base angle actually me measures 57.5 degrees. So if we are going to use the base angle as a reference angle and then ang kukunin natin is here here is our reference angle ito yung kukunin natin yung y and the leg is also given 320 what ratio we are going to use for this case what ratio yes you are going to use cosine cosine so we have cosine theta will be equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse because if this is our reference angle y is the adjacent side and since yung ating leg 320 is opposite the right angle ibig sabihin this is our hypotenuse and yung y natin is our adjacent and using our mnemonic so katoa Diba? We have Sokatoa, we have here the adjacent and the hypotenuse, that's why we will be using cosine. So we have cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Then we are going to substitute para masolve natin. So we have cosine, our reference angle theta is actually 57.5. So we have cosine 57.5 degrees is equal to the adjacent side is the unknown which is y over we have the hypotenuse which measures 320 millimeters. To solve this one, you are going to do cross multiplication. So by cross multiplication, we have y is equal to 320. We will be having 320 and then cosine 57.5. And then using your calculator, you are just going to press sunod -sunod lang, 320 cosine 57.5. Our answer will be approximately what? Rounding off to the nearest hundreds. Yes, approximately y will be equal to 171.94. But this is not yet the final answer kasi ang kinukuha natin is base, yung x natin. And sabi nga natin earlier, for us to, guess the, to get the base, we have x, it is equal to 2y. So we have x is equal to 2. Ang nakuha nating value ng y is 171.94. 0.94. So we have 2 times 171.94, then x will be approximately what? It will be approximately 343 point, that is 88 millimeters. Okay, so answering the question here, what is the length of the base? To answer the question, the length, the base of the triangle is approximately 343.88. Of course, the unit is millimeter. So the answer is 343.88 millimeters. I hope you get it. Let us now proceed with our problem number two. Second problem, a ladder or a ladder... 8 meter long, so we have a ladder which is 8 meter long, is leaning against the wall of the building. If the foot of the ladder makes an angle of 68 degrees with the ground, how high the ladder reach? So a ladder 8 meters long leans against the wall of the building. If the foot of the ladder makes an angle of 68 degrees with the ground, how high the ladder reach? So let us illustrate our given problem. So let us illustrate using a right triangle. So using a right triangle, this will be our wall. And of course, this will be the ground. We have here a right angle. So that illustrates a right triangle. This will be our ladder. This is our ladder. And according to the prob problem, the ladder is 8 meters. So let's have here 8 meters for the ladder. Another given is that the angle that the ladder makes with the ground. So the foot 
of the ladder makes an angle of 68 degrees with the ground. This is the foot of the ladder at ito yung ground. So, ito yung nabuong angle na tinutukoy. And according to the problem, the angle is actually 68 degrees. Ang tinatanong is how high the ladder reach? So, gaanong kataas daw ang maaabot ng ladder? Of course, ang hinahanap dyan is this one. Okay, so let us represent the unknown using the variable x. Looking at our illustration, we can already use the trigonometric ratio. The question is what ratio you are going to use here? Yes, we are going to use here sine. So we have sine theta is equal to the opposite side over hypotenuse. Now, bakit sine? This is our reference angle, 68. Ano, the unknown is opposite the angle. So this is the opposite side. And then 8 meters, the ladder itself, that's opposite the right angle. So it is the hypotenuse. So again, yung ating unknown is the opposite. Ano? And then yung 8 meters will be the hypotenuse. So we have opposite and hypotenuse. So we will be using so opposite hypotenuse. That's why we are going to use sine. So we have sine theta is equal to the opposite side over hypotenuse. Let us substitute. We have sine the given theta or the reference angle is 68 degrees. So we have sine 68 is equal to the opposite side is unknown. So that is x. And then the hypotenuse is 8. Again, to solve the equation, you can use cross multiplication. If you do cross multiplication, then we have x is equal to 8 sine 68 and then the calculator will do the work for you if you are going to use your calculator then x will be approximately what x will be approximately 8 sine 68 using your calculator will give us yes it will give us 7.42 approximately so answering the question how high the ladder reach therefore the ladder the ladder will reach will reach, gaano kataas? We have 7.42 meters. Okay, the ladder will reach 7.42 meters on the wall. Okay. Now, let us proceed with the last sample problem for today. So, the problem is, Adrian is flying a kite. He is holding the end of the string at a distance of 1.5 meters above the ground. If the string is 20 meter long and makes an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal, how high is the kite above the ground? Now, let us illustrate our given problem. So, we have here Adrian. So, let us have a stickman here. Okay, so this is Adrian. So from here, meron siyang hawak na kite. Okay, so nag this is our kite. Okay, so he is flying a kite here. He is holding the string. Ano, sabi dito, the string is 1.5 meters above the ground. So let us put here. That is the distance, and this is 1.5 meters. One by one, let us write here. If the string is 20 meter long, the string daw is 20 meters, so meaning to say we have here 20 meters. That is the string. And makes an angle of 40 degrees with horizontal. Now, nasa ang ating horizontal dito? Is it at the eye level? Nasa eye level ba ang horizontal? Of course not. Ang horizontal natin, of course, is mula doon sa end ng string, yung nasa kamay ni Adrian. So, this will be our horizontal, yung end ng string. And according to the problem, it makes an angle, the string makes an angle with a horizontal of 40 degrees. So, meaning to say, the angle here is actually 40 degrees. So, ang tinatanong is, how high is the kite above the ground? So, if this is your, ha your kite, ganyang kataas, at ito yung ating ground, ibig sabihin ito yung hinahanap natin. How high is the kite above the ground? Just like the previous problem, yung number one natin, looking at it, hindi natin makukuha at once yung x natin. Ano? Now, let us go over with our illustration. Now, if we will be having here, of course, magkakaroon tayo ng right angle dito, perpendicular. Diyan natin gagamitin yung ating trigonometric ratio. Now, the height here, let us denote it 
as y. Ano? And as you all know, kung 1.5 itong side na to, ibig sabihin, from here, this is also 1.5. So, for us to get the height of the kite, para makuha natin yung x, what is the equation for us to get x? Yes, the equation will be y, the value of y here, plus 1.5. So, meaning to say, we need to get y first. And if we are going to get y, what ratio we are going to use? Take a look at our illustration. This is our reference angle, the 40 degree. And then y is the unknown and the given is the string, which is 20 meters. So, what ratio we are going to use? Yes, we are going to use here sine. So, we will be having sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Bakit sine theta? Because the unknown is opposite the 40 degree angle. So, yung y natin ang opposite. And of course, yung string natin is opposite the right angle. So, meaning that is the hypotenuse. That's why using Sokatoa, we are going to use sine theta theta. So, we are going to substitute now. We have sine the theta, the reference angle is given, and that is 40. The opposite side is unknown represented by the variable y. So, let's have y over our hypotenuse is the string itself, which is 20. Again, you can do cross multiplication to solve. So, we have y is equal to we have 20 sine 40. And using your calculator, 20 sine 40 will be equal to yes approximately that is 12.86 and of course sabi natin for us to get x that is y plus 1.5 so since our y is 12.86 12.86 plus 1.5 so x will be equal to or approximately will be 14.5 36. So, how high is the kite above the ground? The kite is 14.36 meters above, above the ground. Okay. So, I hope you get it. This is how are you going to solve problems involving right triangle using the different trigonometric ratios. I hope you understand the lesson for today. I hope you get it. I hope it is clear. Thank you again for watching.